Crowd of about 65,000 expected here on Saturday night. We're at State Farm Stadium in Glendale, Arizona, the NCAA Final Four. They'll play those national semifinals tomorrow. They're getting set for the Reese's College All-Star Game taking place here in about 10 minutes with some of the best other players in the country. Today it was all about practice for all four of these teams. Get a look at the Boilermakers taking the court here in Glendale. They've been out here since Tuesday evening, so these guys were just itching to get out here and get their legs stretched a little bit. They had a closed session yesterday, but a neat atmosphere in here today with thousands of fans. The Purdue band was here as well and this team is really ready to get going and dive into this matchup against NC State. We've heard a lot all season about all 17 on this Purdue roster. Yeah they got some stars but it's taken every guy to get this far. Everybody's got to sacrifice something to be a part of a good team like this. So just seeing everybody just take that in and just be like all right well it's for the team like it's to win and I think just having people that are so unselfish like that kind of benefits us. Them being able to experience, you know, we love it for them. They don't get to score points. They don't get to, you know, get all of the camera time, but they still get to experience the Final Four. You know, it's all of our first times experiencing it together, and being able to go through new things I think is what's the most special part about it. And there's a ton of respect for this North Carolina State opponent that's won nine straight, basically elimination games to get here. Should be a fantastic matchup tomorrow night at 6 o'clock. Of course, the center of attention for Purdue all season, and once again will be Zach Eady today for the second straight year. Named the Associated Press National Player of the Year the first time in more than 40 years that someone's won that award back-to-back. -back. Zach knows that it's taken a team effort to get him to this honor. We're very thankful for everybody that's been a part of the process. It just makes me appreciate... Um the people that do care about me more, like my teammates, my family, um, the Purdue like fans, like like I'm one of those that are signing stuff after every game. It's because like they, I know they appreciate me, like, uh, and I, I value that. Like I know it sounds kind of corny, but like I, I value the people that value me. Speaking of family, amongst the thousands of Purdue fans here today, the Purdue parents are enjoying the ride all along the way from Indy to Detroit and now to Phoenix. Zach's mom, Julia Eady, knows as well as anyone what it's been like for her son to rise to prominence and now one more time on the national stage. You know, I know that I think that he keeps it in perspective. You know, he knows it's not all about him. It's a team sport. It's uh, and. You know, I love the quote that he had. He said it a little off the cuff where he said, you know, it's no pressure, it's just basketball. And, and you know, you look at the bigger picture of life and, uh, you know, what they're doing is extraordinary, but it is just basketball. I think a lot of it comes from the experiences the past three years. We were talking about that yesterday, like the losses that they've had in the tournaments the past three years has just allowed them to grow from those experiences and pour that into the younger kids. Um, like those losses sucked but it's gotten them here because of that. Thank you. Mob Tammy telling it like it is. There's the games tomorrow. Purdue up first. UConn, Bama, the late game. The winner's back here Monday night in prime time for the national championship. And, man, it is going to be a ton of fun to see it happening. We'll be back here on Saturday night on the news at 11 for a recap of the Purdue game. We'll see how it goes there if the weekend continues for them. And uh, we'll have more for you coming up as we get to it tonight at 11 as well. Pacers are in action. The women's final four. Man, it's a great week. I hope you enjoy it all. We'll see you soon.